Yeah, we're still at Sweden Rock Festival and we have a band from Sweden here, Grand Magos. Please introduce yourself. Hello people, I'm JB from Grand Magos. Nice to meet you, everyone. <laughs> okay, you just played a rock art festival last weekend, now you're here at Sweden Rock. So is it, is it your schedule to play so many festivals this year? Uh, yeah, this is the first summer really that we will be doing a lot of festivals. So yeah, um, yeah that's really great. So um, yeah, we did rock hard and we're gonna do Sweden Rock now and Wacken, Summer Breeze uh, and Hellfest in France and oh. some other stuff. Yeah, so that's really cool. So you enjoy uh, festivals as much as uh, club gigs with uh, great lights and all this stuff? Yeah, I mean festivals, number one, I like to be uh, outdoors, you know. Yeah. Uh, as a, as a, you know, in general, <laughs> I'm an outdoors kind of person, and yeah. uh, also, uh, I mean, you get you get the chance to play in in front of uh, a larger crowd than you yeah. do in in a club. So, uh, and I like large crowds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who uh, not? Who not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, festivals are great, and I don't mind, you know, that you don't really have time to prepare and blah blah blah. It's yeah. it's almost better if if you can just you know, go in and do yeah. it rather than spending the day waiting around and, you know, yeah, the sound is perfect and then yeah. you're like, ugh, <laughs> you're already bored by the time okay. you get on stage, so yeah. Yeah, I saw you at the uh, Rock Art Festival and I was really amazed about the energy and, uh, yeah, your playing skills. Oh, uh, it was absolutely amazing and I think you are neither a stoner rock or 70s rock band. Uh, you're a mix of metal and, and these influences. So you're kind of unique, I would say. How did you, uh, would you describe your style? Um, I have a, a description that might not be, um, uh, well, he, he, maybe he wouldn't agree, but uh, you know, the, the band Dio. Dio, yeah. yeah. Dio, but tuned down, you know? <laughs> yeah. So like a um, kind of a deal. nah no I mean <laughs> ha, not like that but we we tune down you know to yeah. s to see like many death metal bands do okay. so and many doom bands as well but we play mm, you know heavy metal with melodies and and choruses yeah. and and all of that so and uh, it's definitely in our background you know bands like Dio Rainbow Black Sabbath yeah. you know all of that so. And man of war and stuff like that. So um, I would say that we play heavy metal, but heavy heavy metal. You know, <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> I think this is what I actually saw: heavy heavy metal. Yeah, and uh, I really was amazed because I saw you uh, with the Venom shirt. Now I see you with the Entomb shirt. So um, you are also in into death metal. Absolutely. I mean, uh, most of our friends in Stockholm are the guys. Uh, the, the guy who did the sound today was yeah. Fred Esprit from Dismember, and uh, ah. he also recorded our first album. Yeah. And uh, we have a strong connection with those bands um, w because of many things, you know, on a personal level, but also on a musical level, with the kind of, you know, even though we play more classic heavy yeah. metal, hard rock, um, we have. I feel we have more in common with with those bands, uh, mm. especially the Swedish death metal bands. Okay. On maybe on a philosophical level, I don't know. But because of the new uh, Venom shirt, I need to ask if you are a fan of the new wave of British heavy metal. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, but my favorite band is really the band that started the new wave of British heavy metal, Judas Priest. Yeah. And they were before the new wave of British heavy metal. Absolutely. So, yeah. 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 So Judas Priest to me is probably my number one favorite band, but all of the the British band that that, that came out like Saxon and okay. uh, absolutely and Maiden as well and uh, but Judas Priest has you know. So you know the song "Run of the Mill" from Rock and Roller. Um, Rock and Roller is not my favorite <laughs> Judas Priest album. I just tried. I just tried. I tried. Yeah, I, know, I know. I know it. But yeah. uh, I, I'd rather jump to uh, you know uh, Sad Wings of Destiny ah, because okay. I think yeah. you know that's the, the the first really really great Priest yeah. album. So. Yeah. So you're a classic three piece, so a thing uh, you don't see much often these days. Uh, and I, I don't find any sound holes when you play solo. So That's good to hear. <laughs> Is it because of the Rickenbacker bass? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's probably, I mean, it's because of Fox, because he's a great bass player. And, yeah. and also, he kind of plays rhythm guitar more than, you know, 
bass space yeah. so uh, it's more like we have two two guitars rather than a bass and a guitar and uh, we need that in order yeah. as you say when I play solos you need to fill it out and Fox uh, Fox is great so yeah. yeah when you record your CDs uh, do you prefer to uh, record the basics live and what do you think about modern studio technique like uh, trigger drums and all this stuff <laughs> Well, you you you, wrote, you know the answer to that question, don't you? I hope. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I just feel that everything has become so streamlined. So, yeah. uh, and and I always think that a, a non-triggered drum kit sounds better than triggered drums. So, we try to keep it really yeah. uh, honest in that in that way, and rather spend time on making you know the drums sound good, yeah. the guitar sound good. Latest album, Iron Will. Uh, the guitar sound is just a, you know, just a, a <laughs> head and a <laughs> cabinet and a mic yeah. on it. That's it. The drums, just a drum kit, mic'd up yeah. properly, the bass, same thing. And then you you need to spend some time to make it sound yeah. crisp and, you yeah. know, punchy and that. Fuck all the triggers and stuff, especially when you're recording. I mean, why should you? I can understand if you trigger drums live to make sure you get the same yeah. sound every night. But, you know, when you record, you should record the drums, you know. Yeah. And the person who plays it. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. Dynamic. Yeah, and not a machine. Because yeah. I'm a bit allergic to the machine kind of sound today. Yeah. Some of the bands that started that trend, they did it amazingly well. Yeah. But now everyone sounds like, you know. And, and terror and, yeah. Yeah, you know, and Pantera were great because they yeah. could actually play that way, yeah. but, but some of the bands, you know, it, it feels a bit like listening to a CD when you see them live yeah. and not, what's the point, you know? But I'm happy that's, that this is your opinion because this is uh, one of the many facts because uh, why I love your band, because you sound like a band on CD and live. <laughs> Um, I noticed that you uh, explained some uh, of your song titles to the German audience last week. So, uh, do you actually speak German? I'm afraid not. Um, I really would like to learn German properly, but um, I, I only know, you know, a couple of words, you know, like everyone else. <laughs> if, if you play in Germany, you pick some stuff up, but uh, I like languages and I try to at least make an effort to uh, It's always fun if you can address an audience in their own language, you know, so... Well, the Iron Will thing was great. Yeah, that was just spur of the moment, so, <laughs> yeah. So, it is, uh, you say Eisen Will? Yeah. Eisener Wille would be right. Eisener. Eisener. So, the next time you see it, say Eisener Wille and well, everything is perfect. The, the problem is that it doesn't fit in with the rhythm. Eis, you know, you yeah. need... <laughs> ma, da, da. So, uh, yeah. I, oh, well, I'll remember that. That's cool. We love it. Uh, so, when can we expect a new record of Grand Marcus and do you have already any new songs ready for it? Absolutely. We've uh, already uh, done some um, basic recordings of yeah. uh, three songs and uh, we'll have a new album out next year. Don't know exactly when, but yeah. Yeah, hopefully. And everybody out there, check out this band, Grand Marcus. No matter if you like stoner rock, if you like 70s rock, or if you like yeah, death metal, thrash metal, They are in between of everything. Would you agree? That's a good description. I agree. So you are you should be the biggest band in the world, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> so thanks for this interview. Enjoy the rest of Sweden rock here today. Thanks a lot. Hopefully meet you again. Yeah. Great. Action. <laughs>